Ife Fadekayode is a Nigerian politician and lawyer. He was a member of the ruling People's Democratic Party. He was with the Opposition or Progressive Congress APC until June 2014 when he returned to the ruling People's Democratic Party. Just recently, the popular Nigeria politician Femi Fanikayode condemned millions of Nigerians who expressed concern about which direction is going politically. Femi Fanikayode used his official Facebook account to share his opinion over what people are saying about him. Oh my God! So you, you guys, you you do hear what uh, people are saying about you, and you and you and you the way you you move, you think uh, people do not have a um, they don't have a sense of their own to be able to to deduce, to judge a lot of things. You think, hey, oh, you know, no, things are changing. Right? Anyway, things are changing. You know, we still have some people, once a politician, no matter what, if he just moves to one party, everybody, the followers will just follow follow them. Maybe they think that is how Nigeria is. Some people are still like that, but a lot of people are coming out of that, that deceit. That because they believe that, hey, you know, Nigerians are gullible, anything. Is bad. What I go for social media, social media has its advantages and it, it has its own disadvantages. But I think a disadvantages of social media is more. It's more making a lot of people to know a lot of things. In your bedroom, you know what is happening in the whole world if you are interested. If you are interested. And it is more, it's helping a lot of people. But, so people are beginning to see these people. You know, there's a limit at which you can deceive people. I was even surprised. I was even surprised that he said he, 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 he is hearing and See what people are saying about him. Whether these people, this one will allow you people to be, have, have everything. That, you know, Nigerians are changing. Things are changing. In his words, Femi Fanika already revealed that he has 55 domestic staff in his house alone. Not one of them gets below 70,000 per month, which is higher than the national minimum wage. Femi Fanika already also added that he stand on all his beliefs core values and principles. He also revealed that he fear nothing and no one. Congratulations. Um, the complete, uh, uh, what he said, is saying here that say, over the last one week, millions of Nigerians have expressed concern about which direction I am going politically and much has been said. Some have gone out of their way to reach out to me and offer their counsel out of genuine love and concern. Others have not reached out to me and have written or spoken out of ignorance, hate and malice, imputing the worst motivations for actions which they claim I have purportedly taken. The contribution is an attempt to provide answers to just a few of a few of the oft fun times as in an absurd assertions and observations that the latter group have made the latter group have made some say they warned me and that i have fallen into a trap while others say my voice has been silenced i am a spy and that this signals the end of my political career my response to them and others who have conjured up even stranger motivations and conspiracy theories when it comes to ffk is as follows so whom it may concern, spare me your crocodile tears and be rest assured that I am too big, too intelligent, too experienced and too forthright to fall into any trap. It is impossible to castrate a lion, render it impotent or silence its roar. I stand on all my beliefs, core values and principles. I am the voice of the voiceless. I am a warrior. I fear nothing. I fear no one. I am as constant as the northern star. And I will always stand against evil. Speaking to other leaders across party lines in order to build bridges, engender peace, foster stability and enhance national unity ought not to create such national and intellectual international rage, panic and pandemonium. Are we so divided that we can't even talk to one another and take pictures together without a causing a public stare and setting the internet on fire? You insult me and say I am scared of prison because I had a meeting with two APC governors. Do you know how many PDP and APC governors and leaders I, I interact with and meet regularly? Do you know how many I talk to on a daily basis? Do you know that I was prosecuted for seven years? PDP government was tried to jail me simply for speaking out against them. Yet it did not deter me. 
ask those that were in the Yaradua and Jonathan administration. Not be there now. People see now. People who were in, who, pe- people were seen, Nigerians were alive now during that time. Those who were alive, they are still alive. So you, nobody should ask anybody. Everybody is seeing it. They say they like where they work pre pro. They high where they work pra pra. They see them. Now so it be. Well, he continued. He said after a while, they got uh, tired because the more they tried to intimidate me into silence or make me flee the country, the more I stood my ground and fought my corner till they gave up. Does that sound like a man that is scared of death or prison? You insult me and say I am broke because I had talks with two APC governors. Do you know that I spend more on my monthly salary bill in one month than some of these people that are claiming I am broke and in five or ten years? All this bragging, bragging, bragging. Do you know who I am? I have 55 domestic staff in my house alone. Not one of them gets below 70000 per month, which is higher than the national minimum wage. I do not owe salaries and I feed each of them three times three times square meal every day. I do all this just to help them to ensure they can look after and feed their families. Does that sound like a broke man to you? Okay. <laughs> bragging, bragging. Nobody asks you all those questions. But uh, you deny that uh, you didn't join APC, but this man came up and he said it and you didn't you didn't challenge him. He didn't challenge the governor of Kogi State. He didn't say it. it, it there's, a, there's a live video um, regarding to that and you didn't deny it. Mm. Anywhere where you like, you put your leg. People are seeing it. People are getting wiser every day. People are getting wiser every day. So you don't need to blow your trumpet. People will see. People will know. They will know what exactly has been happening. So you don't need to tell anybody that you go and ask anybody. No, they can see, they can feel it, they can they can sense it. Well, if this claim is true, it shows how stupid a black man could be. So if you later become a president, you will have over 1,000 domestic staff. That is bragging anyways. I wonder, but I don't know why, I don't know any of this company in this Nigeria, Sha. Hmm, your, your poor mentality speaks volume. Are you running a factory in your house? What are you manufacturing? What are they doing? How many companies do you have to employ these numbers? Are you dangote? Tell me how a man like this will not embezzle public funds without any functional company to his name and he must pay these people. I wonder how he manages to pay those domestic workers. Does he have a company or is it from the public funds he pays, he pays them? food for thought ffk stop dodging the question have you decamped or planning to decamp or not your honest straightforward answer will end the hogwash of this your brother does show a <laughs> brother or this your brag an empty rant may you have not say uh, maybe you have not realized that uh, nigerians have come to know you more than yourself of course people are saying um how many would Dangote have? They are doing a domestic work, and may may I refresh your mind that he may he is our next president. He is not a thief like a Yaya Belu of Kogi State and others. <laughs> you have 55 domestic staff at home as a non-elected or appointed politician that sound absorbed. That really sound absorbed. When you are not the queen, let us know their line of duties, or are you into an illegal? production in your home so guys let us hear your opinion concerning this brag from a femi fanikayode